Good morning, everyone. Welcome back for part four of our lesson today on the peace of mind. We have looked all week on how to have peace in the middle of an uncertain situation, and today we're going to look at some practical tips on how to do that. God's purpose is to produce peace. When we realize that Jesus offers soundness of mind, peace prevailing over fear, and healing for affliction, he brings deliverance and release from the chains of oppression. That's the God we serve. That's the one that we give our lives to and we seek after. And when we get in prayer with him, when we get in commune with him, he takes our torment, our fear, our chaos, and he brings peace. That's the God we serve. You see, Jesus gives a sound mind for a place of term, in a place of torment. Those afflicted with a troubled mind are promised help and healing. Paul wrote in 2 Timothy 1.7, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So as firmly as you believe that you have power and as firmly as you believe that the love of God will flow through you, so firmly you need to believe that you can have a sound mind. There is nothing that you can face in life that can take away the peace of God. How are we tormented today? When we think of torment, we usually think of torture, torture chambers, medieval things. But torment today takes a very different form, but it's still a very powerful form. And that form is fear. Fear produces torment. Fear of failure, fear of punishment, fear of others, fear of the future. These are just a few of the phobias that bring distress and worry in our lives. John revealed that love is the antidote to fear. 1 John 4.18, there is no fear in love. But perfect love casts out fear because fear involves torment. Jesus offers peace in place of fear. So he takes our fear and he gives us peace. We must not allow our minds to drift into the temptation of fear. That requires discipline. That requires stopping your thoughts before they go too far. Jesus said in John 14, Peace I live with you, my peace I give unto you. Do not, I do not give to you as the world gives. And then he gives a command. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. He said, I'm going to give you peace, but you can march it right back out of your life by letting your mind go crazy, by letting your mind focus on things that you shouldn't be focusing on. You can allow fear to take back what peace gave you. The Holy Spirit is given to teach us and remind us of God's abiding peace. The Gadarenes feared the wrong spirit. When they saw the man formerly possessed clothed and in his right mind, they were afraid because if they didn't understand, they figured, oh, if that was horrible, this is going to be even more horrible because there was so much fear that just laid over them and caused their mindset to be wrong. We can't do that. When we see the opportunity for peace, when something in our life God touches and brings peace, we can't let the fears that surround that thing take over and make us in fear again and torment us again. Jesus grants healing for every affliction. The record of his miracles attests to his authority over every sickness. When the disciples of John the Baptist came seeking verification of the Messiah, they were assured by the many miracles that Jesus performed. Blind eyes opened, the lame walked, lepers cleansed, deaf ears hearing, the dead raised to life, and most importantly, the poor received the gospel. There was no class distinction to Jesus. He preached to everybody the same way. He brought the gospel to everyone. The prophesied works of the Messiah were being fulfilled in Jesus Christ. There could be no doubt of his credentials. And so it is in your life. When you choose to bring the Prince of Peace into your life and you choose to worship Jesus Christ, even though it's a little difficult getting started sometimes because our minds are so used to living in fear. They're so used to letting our thoughts run away with fear and with anxiety. And maybe we have an affliction in our body. But the more we give ourselves to Christ, the more we spend time with him in prayer, the more that we look into his word for encouragement and healing, there is no doubt that he will bring healing to every affliction, whether it is physical or mental, whatever it is that you are facing, there is healing in the name of Jesus for you. God bless you today. May this encourage you and keep you on the right path today. In Jesus' name, 